Okay. Hello, hello. My name is Alistair Dragovic, and welcome back to Freedom Planet. Uh, uh, uh what? What? Uh, um. No, 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 no. Um, okay, I was caught off guard by suddenly missiles. But here I am. Alright, I guess this is how I'm raiding the um, enemy ships. Alright. Yeah, I guess I'm on a mission to, uh, make sure these things are just... <laughs> wow, I could just crouch down and kick it. And it has no force. It just has to sit there and take it. Ah, sucker. Okay. Yeah. Wow. This, this, uh, this, um, episode's kicking off with a bang. Okay, I think that might be all the enemies. Okay, 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 there's the rest of the stage. I was wondering. Whoa, 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 ow, ow. Oh, nice. I was wondering where the card was going to be. Alright, let's see if I can find that engine room and... Oh, my lord. Well, oh wow, nice. So, I learned over the course of, um... Aww. I learned over the course of playtesting that that red shield thing... ...causes damage on t contact with the enemy. Gosh dang it. I won't give up! Let's go! Yeah. Well, now I can explore the, uh... Oh, never mind. It just takes me right back to the missile jumping section. All right, yeah. Oh, I wonder if I... Right, if I would get the card back after I die. Because I, like, remember accidentally quitting out of a stage earlier. Okay, so... Okay, I keep it as... But I just... Okay. Wow, I am really bad at um, keeping up words in a coherent manner. Oh! That helps. Ah, nice. Okay, yeah. Uh, yeah, words, words. Thoughts, ideas. Yeah, okay, yeah. Um, right. I forgot what one, one of the red shields does, at least. Um... Oh my goodness, I wasn't expecting- Okay, wait, hang on. Oh no! I didn't expect it to have taken out the floor- Oh lord. I, I just love how effective that crouch kick is. It's hilarious to me. Oh nice, this takes me- Right back here, where I can get this. Hopefully, I can get one of those fire shields. The electric shield seems to um be pretty effective too. But I really like how the fire shield causes extra damage. I'm still not sure what special effects the uh, blossom shield has, though. Right, right, I'm supposed to be talking. <laughs> um, yeah, I've gotten some feedback on some of the um, stuff. And right now I'm just trying to keep up um, and make sure that there's no dead noise. Um, 
dead noise that, um, oh wait, hang on. Is there a secret up here? Nope, nope, never mind. Okay. W wow. I'm surprised I didn't get nailed by that, um, bam. Oh my lord. Yeah, um, keeping up a continuous train of noise, um, not like for the noise's sake, but, but for like, um, because I'm supposed to be trying to entertain you and talk to you and, um, sometimes I just sort of leave dead air. And, like that. It's because I'm often just getting lost in thought, um... And we get, because, and it's just, sometimes it's really hard for me to keep chatterboxing like this. Um, it's been a long since time since I've had to, you know, regularly practice being social. You'd think it would be from the, um, pandemic, but no, actually. It's actually is entirely because of things having to do with my personal life. Um, namely, a major um, reason why I'm even um, doing my best to do um, YouTube despite the hot competition is because of um, how much it's because of um, a need for, you know, financial security. Something that I can't actually, um... Oh, okay. That helps. That financial security is something that, um... Okay, so we have fire and earth shit. Um, I might as well head to the fire ship while I'm trying to explain this. Okay, nice. Okay, yeah, that was just, um, nerve-wracking. That's why I kind of just, um, choked there. But, yeah, um... Right. Um, yeah... Shoot, how do I even explain this part of my life? Um... Ugh. Well... Oh! My brother has some special needs, um... And because he has, um, special needs... Um... Yeah, he, he's autistic, um... But it's not like the kind of autism where you could just where it's just like, oh, you need to um, just calmly and quietly understand them and stuff. I mean, there is that too. It's that's always going to be a component of autism is learning how to understand and um, encourage and support your um, family member because they're people too. At the end of the day, unfortunately, my brother has some. Really nasty stuff that's comorbid with his diagnosis. Um, basically, he's mute. Um, and he, t he can't really speak. He, every time he tries, he even if he's successful, he immediately loses the words. And most of the time, it's just doesn't get beyond basic verbalization anyway. Which can be a bit heart wrenching. Um, Another thing is that he's does really terribly with abstract concepts. Probably partly because, um... It pro probably partly because... He, um, can't verbalize very well, so he can't really tell us... Oh, I don't understand what you mean when you say, uh... What this or this or this is. Um... We have tried to get him to learn sign language in the past, but to complicate matters further, um, everybody in my household basically had undiagnosed depression. And we didn't really realize this until, 
until uh, much later on when I started to realize that what I was suffering from was in fact depression. And then my grandmother um, had to get on antidepressants during her stay in the hospital um, after she was brought in for what was suspected to be heart failure, but actually turned out to be her lungs um, finally um, giving up the ghost due to her uh, cigarette addiction. Yeah, um, if you couldn't tell, I have been dealing with a wee bit, um, in my life, and, well, uh, okay, um, but just to stop going, um, well, and, um, actually get to something more relevant, the reason... So, on top of those two, my brother also has obsessive compulsive disorder. Which, you know, isn't uncommon. But, there is one huge caveat to that, and that's he's obsessed with food. And sometimes he doesn't recognize when he's, um, not hungry. Doubly so because his medication, um, to, um, keep him from having violent outbursts tends to make him hungrier. And, you know, given how difficult it is for him to communicate, I don't blame him that violence can be one of his go-to options, but at the same time, it's just really, really, hard and difficult to deal with. Uh, at any rate, um, we also suspect that he may have hallucinations on top of that. So, with all those factors... You just don't know when to fold, do you? Rude, Spade. I was in the middle of something. Don't you get it? Lord Brevin's the murderer! Wow. Thanks going for right tip. for it. Now get off our ship before I throw you overboard. Uh, wow. So that'll happen. What the hell, Spade? Oh well, don't say I didn't warn you. Oh, okay. I guess we're in a Spade fight. Okay, uh... Right. Shit. Threw off my train of thought, Spade. Okay, yeah. I need to be more conservative with the, um... Swirly twirls. Wait, what, was that a giant green thing? Oh, yeah, it was a giant green thing, in the form of, uh, him having a... Okay, yeah, okay, okay, yeah, I'm just trying to concentrate here. And, okay, he keeps jumping. And that's really robbing me of my, um most effective arson tool in the arsenal um, when it comes to interception, which is this Dragon Rush. But again, I've been having just terrible luck with the Dragon Rush in these boss fights. And right now, I'm just trying to play Keep Away because I don't have any HP left. Okay, so... Okay, I timed that a bit too late. I was hoping to catch him, um... Ah, crud. The moment I started talking, my brain turned off. Okay, but yeah. Um... I guess so now that I know... Um... Okay, why didn't her Dragon Rush charge up there? Okay, okay, well... I must have not been paying attention to the bar or something. Or maybe there's just a, you know, just a teeny bit of delay. That sort of thing happens. Okay. Jeez. The fact that you just... can do that at any, um, height is making it pretty difficult to pin him down. 
I suppose that makes it more feel like more like I'm fighting a player. Which I think makes sense, because I think um, Spade was intended to um, actually be a player character um, in the original plans. Um, I'm not, but um, they ran out of time and space and budget. Okay, finally. Okay, now to take out these cannons. Get the health and save the little, uh. Lilac head? Weird, but okay. Alright. I wonder if there's any new, um. Missile platforms. Okay, so. Not nothing there. Ugh, yeah. That spinny fight just really, uh. Felt like it came out of nowhere. Ugh. Shoot. Okay. Oh, Lord, not again. Ugh. That's very frustrating. Just leaping to my death. Cycloning to my death, even. Arg yard. Whoa, what the heck are these green things? Oh, thanks for stabilizing me. Hmm. Or maybe... No thanks? Okay, well, that's a path up there. I guess that's useful for me since I didn't take the uh, windy path up. Uh, yeah. I'd really love to stick around and search for a... Uh, Good for secret collect collectibles, but I am kind of running low on time. So what I'm probably going to do is um, play until I either hit the 20 minute mark or until I find the uh, mid boss for this particular ship. Okay, it did warn me. Oh, neat. And um, probably call it quits there. I can always um, record another episode or get back to that point at, later on. Um. Come on. Wait, I could just use Dragon Rush. Oh! Well, that was useful. Nothing breakable, it seems. Okay. If there was something breakable, I just didn't get it. For shame. Oh, man. Yeah, I just really want this collected. It is um gym stuff. Since it gives me, you know, extra HP. Ow. I was not very smart. Aha! I knew I saw um some missile stuff. Sweet. Ah, I'm glad I went here. I really needed the health pickups. Alright. Well then. Ah, nice. Yeah, that's kind of fun, actually. Oh, no. Uh, well? You n oh, wait, hang on. Checkpoint here. I suspect the boss is nearby. So I'm going to go ahead and bid you all adieu for now. Next time, we'll probably take care of the third mini-boss of the Sky Battalion. And face off against the um, boss for this stage. If I c if I complete it quickly enough, I can hopefully get to the cutscene in time. But we'll just have to wait and see. Until next time. Um, thank you, and I hope you have a great day.